Hey guys, so today is your recorded lesson for our new math standard, Understanding the Number Line in Real Life. So let's go ahead and get to work here today. You need to understand that a number line, as you remember from elementary school, is not only going to tell us a number's position from zero, but it also helps to introduce to us negative numbers. So today, if you would please draw this number line and head your new paper the way that Miss Neville has. And we're going to number our line. Any number going to the right of zero is going to be a positive integer. And any number, of course, going to the left of the zero will be a negative integer. Please pause at any time if you find that you need uh, to write this down more slowly or if Miss Neville's going too fast. So as we continue here, we're going to see that earning words like earn are going to move me to the right side of my number line. Words like loss or descend will move me to the left of the zero on my number line. Ascend. And so we're going to be able to do some activities um, on Tuesday with uh, real life situations using a FET simulation with the number line. We'll also be able to see that a number line can be vertical A vertical number line, and it's actually easier to see the, the impact of negative, loss, uh, earn. You can see that easier with a vertical than you can with a horizontal. Just my humble opinion. You want to make the vertical number line as well. They don't have to be large. Okay, I don't, they don't have to take up an entire piece of paper. But we want to make sure we understand when I'm lost or when I've lost money, I'm descending in a plane from the sky. Okay, when I'm gaining, earning, I'm moving up the number line. Ascend. That means to move up our number line. Today, you're going to be doing some activities in your textbook where you're going to be asked to um, play with, experiment with this. I don't want you to worry about right or wrong right now. As much as you can, you're trying to understand the principle behind a number line as it pertains to our real life situations. So for example, if I were to gain $5 into my account, my account's going to go up. If I were to lose that $5 and owe $9 in my account, okay, or owe $4 in my account, not only have I lost $5, but now I owe $4. I'm negative $4 in my account. You're going to be completing some assignments in your textbook today. If you would, please check the whiteboard and the substitutes um, directions. They will be able to tell you what you should be working on. Have a really great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.